the acrobatics. Tail walking, love it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the next fishing adventure. Um, in today's adventure, I am back to the scene of the crime. And what I mean by that is about a month ago, I caught my first ever bowfin fishing out of this creek. I got a few nice sized catfish out of here and one really uh, angry snapping turtle. Um, but ever since catching that bowfin, I've wanted to catch another one. I've been here once since and caught, a, caught another nice catfish, but no bowfin. Today, the water level is a little bit higher. We've had some rain here recently all week long, today being Sunday. So there's a little bit more flow, a little bit more current. Now, bowfin can survive in low oxygen, but this creek leads down to the main reservoir, which is about maybe a mile or two downstream from here. So it would make no sense for a fish, even if it can survive in that environment, to stay in that environment when it has the option of going further downstream into an area where its forage is gonna be because the other fish can't survive in low oxygen. So now that we have a little bit more current here, I'm optimistic that I'll be able to get into a bowfin or two. Um, I went out and caught some bait yesterday. I have one bluegill, um, perfect size bluegill. It's about four inches long, so I can get two nice chunks of meat out of that one. Um, so I'll put that on a hook. I'm already rigged up, so I'll throw that out there. And in the meantime, see if I can catch myself a few more bluegills so I can use for bait. The idea today is to fish for maybe three, four hours before it gets really, really hot and then head on home. So um, I'm optimistic that I'll catch something, but the target species today is bowfin. So let's see how we do. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so we got rigged up here is a nice chunk of uh, bluegill. A little bullet weight up here. It's about a quarter ounce. I'm gonna just cast out into that hole right there underneath the trees and just let this soak. Now, the nice thing about using cut bait like this, it does all the work for you. It just sits out there and it smells, kind of gives off a little bit of blood in the water. And it won't take very long to start getting a few bites on this. And the question is, are we gonna get something big enough to get that hook and that piece of meat in its mouth? So I'm sticking to larger sizes pieces of meat. I did scout further downstream. There are definitely some nice holes that I would like to fish, but unfortunately, ooh, there's a bite already. Yeah, something's on it. Just waiting for that rod to bow over. Just picking at it, picking at it. See, it's just small fish picking at it. So, um, there were some good holes further downstream. Unfortunately, the bank was too high. to be able to safely land a fish there. So I decided it wouldn't be a good option to set up there. So I came back to the bridge, have some shelter here, a lot less mosquitoes than down there with all the bushes and stuff. So we'll put this alarm on here. You guys may have seen this before. So what it does is just when the fish pulls on it, but this is a really, really nice little tool. Um, if you guys are interested in getting something like that, you can find them on Amazon. I think they have like six packs of them for like 10 bucks. So anyway, we're gonna rig up the ultralight here. Um, I still have two more pieces of meat over here on the, on the cutting board, but uh, we're gonna rig up the ultralight so you can catch a little bit more bait. Okay, so while that bait soaks, I'm gonna throw this little curly tail here. This is a 1 32nd ounce jig head, very, very tiny. The idea is that I just cast it as far as I can across this creek. That's actually perfect. And slowly retrieve it across the current and across the current break. See if I can get a little bluegill or something to pick at it. Getting some bites here. If it was a big enough fish, it would just swallow the whole piece of meat. But maybe we can get a hook into them anyway. All right, going for it. Whoa. Might be bigger than I expected. It's a good fish. Head shakes, I'm thinking it's a bowfin. Yep. Very nice. Not as big as my last one, but I caught another one. Well, I haven't landed it yet. Uh, just as I said that, he broke off. Yep, he broke me off. 
So can't celebrate till we actually have the fish in hand. That's all right, that's promising. Just got a really hard hit on here. The lawn didn't go off. We're just gonna take this lawn off. Maybe the battery might be dead on it. Not feeling anything on the end though. So whatever it was might have picked at the meat. Nope, there it is. Here we go. He's on. Some of those branches there, hopefully, will put me out. There we go. Oh. Get out of there. Wherever you're at, you're stuck in something. It's got me hung up in something, but I can still feel it shaking its head on the other end. Let's see if I give it some slack, it'll loosen itself up. I don't know what he's got me hung up in. And it's gone. Whatever it is, is gone. It's not shaking anymore. Oh, no, he's still on there. He's still on there. He can't, he got himself loose. Both in. About the same size as the last one. Not as big as my first one, but we'll take it. Nice. That was interesting. All right, Senor Bofin, thank you very much for that fight. Interesting, interesting fish. Okay. So we got a few pictures of them. Go. We'll let them go. He's nowhere the size of the first one I caught. The first one I caught was about double this size. But... I redeem myself. He's gonna go berserk as soon as he gets in that water. You just went the wrong way, buddy. There you go. All right, you got another bite here. Action is definitely picking up. Give me a little slack, let it pick up and run with that. He's on there. There we go. Oh no, I pulled it out of his mouth. That's okay, that's still a good sign. Okay, fish on. Here we go. Oh no, there's nothing on there. Whatever it was. Oh, I think he might have taken my bait. Yeah, he got my bait. So we're gonna keep throwing right back in that little pocket there. Kind of underneath that tree. That's perfect. We're gonna let that sit right there. Oh, he's on. He's already on. Oh, that's a good fish. He was already on there. Yeah, that's a both in. Judging by those head shakes. Oh, it's a good one. Get this out of the way here. Oh, you're so cool. Stay on, buddy, stay on. Come here. Oh, he's he's about the size of my first one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Gotcha. Oh, he might be a little bit bigger than my first one. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish and the hook already came out. He was barely hooked. All right, let's get him back in the water. Thank you, good sir, for the fight. Going the wrong way. Again, you're going the wrong way. There you go, you're free. Very nice, good release. But right along this bank's been the key. Just like that. The line is actually slack right here. It's not taut, straight out there. 
I want the fish to pick it up, chew on it, swim off with it, get it well into its mouth before it even feels any tension. Okay, that rod is bowed over. Oh, you know what? I don't have the alarm on it, I wonder. Come on, get out of there, whatever you are. This might be a turtle, I don't feel any anything. There. Yeah, I think this is a turtle. I'm not feeling any head shakes, any rolls, anything. But it's coming up, whatever it is. Oh, there it goes. It just pulled. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely a turtle. Definitely a turtle. I just hope he doesn't break off my line because it's the only last piece of meat I've got. Well, I'm not getting that piece of meat back. Huh. Interesting. These guys get really big. He's about average for this body of water. Come here, big boy. Let the people get a good look at you before I cut the line. Aren't you cool? Look at that big fat tail on him. Oh, yeah. You are so cool. These animals are so cool. I have so much respect for them because they've survived so long. There we go. There we go. Good. Off he goes. All right. All right, I was bait fishing, but this, this is, I don't know if it's a catfish. I don't know what this is, but it's not bait. And I only have four pound line on here. Whatever it is, it's a good sized fish. Could be a small bow fin. Oh, it's a catfish. There we go. Little channel cat. All right, so I just wanted to finish using that last piece of gulp, so that's done. And pretty little catfish, you can go back in the water. Thank you very much for the fight, young man. Go get bigger, we'll catch you in a few years. Get the slime off of here, beautiful. Good day, I'm, I'm very happy I did this fishing and I caught those fish in three hours, so I'm already packed up, getting ready to head home. I'm actually further um, upstream. And I just wanted to come and do my little exit video and say, tell you guys thank you so very much for tuning in. And please hit that like button and subscribe. Greatly would appreciate any support out there, any feedback, and any experiences you may have had in fishing small creeks like this or for bowfin or catfish. Um, definitely like having talks with uh, other fishermen and see what their experiences are like. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the next fishing adventure.